today I'm in Kisumu city and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to spend a weekend in Kisumu. What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So Kisumu is a really nice small town where people usually come for business but today I'm going to show you guys a different side of Kisumu. How to travel this place because I'm going to be here for like the next two days and it's going to be awesome. So first things first is getting here. There's two ways of getting here. You could either get here by road which is about a five hour drive from Nairobi or you could get a flight from Nairobi and come here and you'd most likely be landing in Kisumu International Airport. That's what I did. My flight was super early in the morning at like seven o'clock I'm still kind of tired from that the other thing that you'll realize when you get here in Kisumu is that there's no uber but uh, if you want to get a taxi download this app called bolt so that you can get around so for the next three days I'll be staying at this hotel called Acacia premium hotel which is beautiful thank you so much all right thank you Hi there, I didn't notice you guys waiting outside. So well, now that you're here, let me give you guys a room tour. This place is so cool. So this is what 17,500 shillings gets you. A really cool room. And this is my view, guys, look. There's the lake. That's, that's Lake Victoria right over there. This view is freaking incredible. So the moment I landed in this place, like I had the feels of uh, landing in Chiang Mai because when you land, you just see hills all over the place and green scenery, the air is so fresh. So you know what they say, when you get to a place, meet a local and ask them to show you around. So I have met Shivani. Uh, haters would say that she's not a local, but she's actually born in Kisumu. I'm not born in Kisumu, I'm born in Nairobi. I came here when I was seven. I thought you were born in Kisumu. No, I came here when I was seven. <laughs> but you've lived here for like 10 years of your life, right? Yeah. So can I count you as a local? Yeah, you can. Personal chauffeur, whoop whoop. So where are you taking me today? I'm taking you to the farm. It has a food court kind of area at the top. Mm -hmm. So we'll go to this place called LB. Uh -huh. And they have really good biscuit pudding. So I guess if we're lucky, we'll get whoop whoop. <laughs> aka laughing buddha is a place where you can come to enjoy an amazing view over there and apparently the sun sets right over there over the lake shivani says that their biscuit pudding is the best thing that she's ever had so that's what we're going to be trying so it is like sort of a black forest uh, cream licorice good recommendation shivani it tastes really good If you haven't heard, Kisumu has some of the best sunsets that you'll witness and that was one of them that I got to witness on the rooftop of Acacia Premier Hotel and at the same time I was enjoying a beer which speaking of drinks, usually when places have views like that, their drinks or rather their menu tend to be really overpriced but for a view like that, surprisingly their menu is actually quite reasonable so that's a huge thumbs up. Good morning guys and welcome to a beautiful day here in Kisumu. I'm starting off my day here at this cute coffee shop in the hotel. So I ordered a black forest and a cappuccino and my cappuccino has my name on it. So cool. Good morning. All right, so we have come to the Impala Sanctuary here in Kisumu and uh, apparently there's a lot of impalas here so basically you walk along a trail and um, see impalas giraffes entrance to get into this place for citizens i don't know we paid for the both of us was 430 shillings oh my gosh look they have a leopard <laughs> guys a leopard so this leopard is called eve and basically she was an orphan and now she's being held over here uh, to be kept safe and apparently, if you stand out here, you could touch her. Oh my god. So unfortunately, she can't be released back into the wild because she wouldn't be able to survive there. 
just a quick uh, note to mention is that these leopards are not sedated in any way whatsoever. They're just here to be taken care of. Later we learned that there's a whole orphanage section where they have many different orphaned animals that they're sheltering. Oh my gosh, guys, zebras in the open. And we're just standing there and like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, ho, ho. Come. They, they come running towards you, I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe we're actually walking with impalas right now. What? And zebras. And then there's a giraffe right over there. Hey, big guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh, hey, Marty, is that you? No, Marty, don't go. Marty. 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 Sure Marty, come back. None of their names are Marty. Hey, that's my friend Marty, okay? So right next to the Impala Sanctuary is Impala Eco Lodge and you can come here to have some lunch. It's a little bit windy but guys this view is... Oh my gosh this view is freaking incredible. Wow. For a view like that... These prices are actually so decent, wow. Okay, scratch what I said about like decent prices. For 600 shillings, I got like two wings. <laughs> Literally two wings. Okay, let's try them out though. So I'd give that food a five out of 10, but if you wanna enjoy food while enjoying a good view like that, decent place to come. I take a nap for like 30 minutes and this is what happens here. Oh, gray skies and I don't even know if we're gonna get to see a good sunset today. Damn it. Well then, since the weather did not cooperate today, I'm just gonna go and have some dinner there at the pool bar. So for those of you who didn't know, tilapia fish is actually a staple here in Kisumu and they get it fresh from Lake Victoria. I should have been ordering for like each and every meal but that's what I'm going to be trying right now. That tilapia was just fried tilapia and then you throw some salt on the top and honestly that was the best tilapia I've ever had in my life. It was so fresh and they also gave this uh, side sauce which is kind of like a tomato sauce which tastes so good with the fish. And honestly if you're looking for just one reason to come to Kisumu, definitely come for that tilapia. Wow, <sighs> mind blowing. So to complement that amazing tilapia, we're back at Laughing Buddha to grab something called a sizzler brownie. Woo! Sizzle baby! You have the cold ice cream, and then you have the really nice and sweet brownie. And you feel like the heat of that brownie. A little too sweet in my opinion. So I probably wouldn't down the whole thing, but it is something that you could get to share with someone. So through the hotel, I organized a trip here to one of these rock formations called Kit Mikai, which is a very important rock here in Kisumu. There's a lot of rock formations here in the area, but this one in specific is really important and a lot of people visit this place. So generally getting around to any place in Kisumu will take you about 5 to 10 minutes from your hotel but if you want to get to Kitmikai it'll take you 45 minutes. Entry into the rock is 400 shillings. Unfortunately Shivani couldn't come with me today because she twisted her knee last night. So for now I'm on my own. Alright so there's a lot of rock formations here in Kisumu and just that alone makes the drive to this specific rock really stunning. So the story behind this rock is that uh, there was this owner called Ngesu and basically he was like a really rich Luo man from the village and uh, he was looking for a place to stay. He found an area next to this rock where he built his house and then he was looking for another house uh, to build and he found this rock so basically what he would do is he would come and stay here all the time and when the people from the village would look for him they couldn't find him and they would ask his wife like where is Ngeso and the wife would tell him that he's at his first wife's uh, place and basically they named this rock Mikai. So the name's Kit Mikai. Kit means rock and Mikai means first wife. Now this is such a challenge. I'd definitely stay here all day with a view like that. Wow. 
So what's really special about this rock is the fact that uh, once upon a time when the owner and guests who used to live here, the rock started crying and then every time he would come out, he figured that the whole land was in drought. And he was basically told by the witch doctors that they needed to pray to the rock so that the rains could come. And uh, what they would do is they would sacrifice goats and chickens to the rock and then immediately after the rains would start pouring. So now basically this rock is like a sacred rock and people come here to pray. So there's like a lot of people back there praying uh, to have their wishes come true. So I'm currently on second floor or so they say and right below me under is another like first floor rather where uh, there's also other praying spots over there and ground floor is all of that. One thing to note though, getting through those rocks is actually quite physically challenging and it's also mentally challenging because you're going through spaces where uh, like the edge of the rocks but it's quite fun. Well, it's definitely not hard to see why he picked that rock over all other rocks. So, Kennedy, thank so you so I much, man. Alright, cheers. I am back at the hotel. It's pretty hot and humid outside, so I'm thinking of going to swim at the pool. Uh, but before that, I really need to get some lunch. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Mushrooms, capsicum, onions, and chicken. That pizza right there was so incredible. It was full of toppings and the crust was so thin. I'd give that a good 10 out of 10. My chauffeur is back. Shivani, how's your knee though? It's, uh, it's alright. Huh? Yeah. You missed such an awesome place. I saw. Yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> All right, so we have arrived to Yacht Club and this is where we were supposed to come to last evening to watch the sunset But then the weather decided to go like really bad, but today weather looks really promising I'm hoping we're gonna get to see a nice sunset, but we're not gonna be watching it over here We're gonna be watching it elsewhere Although I just wanted to show you guys that this is one place you can visit uh, while you're here in Kisumu So this is basically what you have at Yacht Club. This is a floating dock and then right over there you have all these bandas and just somewhere there the sun will be setting in like the next one hour. I've noticed people around the lake that are offering boat rides and I think that would be something cool to do while the sun sets. Oh my gosh. Guys we are at Dunga Hill Camp and this view Wow, this view is incredible. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people here, so I think we're gonna go back to um, Yacht Club because there's less people. Kind of want that silent sunset watching, but this is beautiful. And right up there, uh, there's a bar. You can get drinks and stuff as you watch the sun drop from right over there over the beautiful Lake Victoria. You live in a beautiful place. Wow. Well guys, unfortunately it's the end of my time here in Kisumu but I have to say that this place was really enjoyable and I know that there's a few other things that I didn't cover that I wish I could have if I had more time here but that is why I'll be coming back here hopefully in the near future again and if you guys are in Kisumu I highly highly recommend staying here at Acacia Premium Hotel um, the service is great, the food is great, and what I found most enjoyable was the pressure in the shower heads. Freaking fantastic. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button. And if you think I missed any other places, let me know in the comments. And as usual, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Fan of the day.